Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 4 of this free course for Apple Notes on the iPad. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new episode we'll be covering. In Apple Notes, the toolbar with your handwriting tools is mobile. You can move it around the four sides of your screen. or minimize it by swiping it to a corner. You can turn on Auto Minimize under the three dots icon if you want to automatically tuck it away when you tap any part of your screen. Apple Notes has three pen types one pencil, and a watercolor brush. The first two pen tools are both ballpoints. Though they look different, they write exactly the same way. The third pen is a calligraphy pen. One pencil, and a watercolor brush. Customization options are the same for all the writing tools in the app. They all have five fixed thicknesses, opacity scale ranging from zero to 100%, The opacity percentage of each tool shows on it as a number on the toolbar. They also have five default colors on the toolbar that you can't change. To use custom colors, you must add them to the secondary color palette in the app. Go to the sixth color circle on the toolbar, the one with the many colors. This will take you to a place where you can choose the color you want from the grid, spectrum, sliders, or using the color picker. The color picker is the easiest to use when the color you want is already in your notes. Tap the plus icon on your toolbar to add the new color. On this secondary color palette, you can add as many colors as you like. Long press to delete a color you no longer need. You can write your notes using the Apple Pencil for accurate handwriting representation. Or you can use a finger by turning on Draw with Finger under the three dots icon. The handwriting experience in Apple Notes is amazing. There is no lag, it feels natural, and palm rejection is perfect. Apple Notes uses raster ink, which loses its resolution when zoomed in if you share the notes out of the app. It means the notes you write in the app best stay in the app. The highlighter tool in Apple Notes goes behind your ink. even at 100% opacity. Or when layered, it does not dim your notes.
It also has five fixed sizes and the same color palette as the pen tool. The pixel eraser has five fixed sizes. And it erases per pixel. While the object eraser erases per stroke, no matter how big the stroke is. Pages in Apple Notes are vertically infinite but with fixed widths. They continue extending downwards as you write without needing you to add any new pages. Your handwritten notes and the typed body text in the app do not mix. This concludes Apple Notes for the iPad 101. Hopefully you can now take some basic notes in the app. The next videos will be for intermediate users. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.